Hi, we continue our monthly digital health digest, where we cover a few of the most interesting news that happened over the month, and here is our January edition. Digital health companies continue last year's trend of laying off their employees, while Rock Health provided an investment report for 2022 and it's not very optimistic. Digital health funding slowed down by a lot last year, with US-based startups raising $15.3 billion, which was a little over half of 2021's $29.3 billion and just beat out 2020's $14.7 billion. Doesn't look like we'll see a dramatic improvement in 2023. Another major data leak happened. Insulet reports data breach affecting 29,000 insulin pump users. Insulet took this event very seriously and acted according to the HIPAA rules. After discovering the privacy incident on December 6, 2022, the company notified the US Department of Health and Human Services of the data breach and disabled all tracking codes on the relevant web page that same day so that no further exposure of PHI could happen. Liberty received FDA 510K for its digital dialysis clinic. The company's intelligent dialysis assistant allows patients to undergo dialysis outside a clinic while being remotely supervised by a healthcare professional. Congrats on this huge accomplishment! Lotta Healthcare and Samsung Venture Investment back South Korean mental health app MindCafe with $5 million funding. Launched in 2015, MindCafe claims to be the leading mental health app in South Korea in terms of monthly active users, average stay time, number of experts, and sales. The company eyes overseas expansion and wants to offer more telemental health services. That's it for today. Stay safe and please continue supporting Ukraine.